So WikiLeaks revealed uh, some stuff about the people who run this country. Uh, but remember when George Carlin said this. Big club, and you ain't in it. <laughs> you and I are not in the big club. And by the way, it's the same big club they use to beat you over the head with all day long when they tell you what to believe. All day long, beating you over the head in their media, telling you what to believe, what to think, and what to buy. The table is tilted, folks. The game is rigged. And nobody seems to notice. Nobody seems to care. Good, honest, hard-working people. White collar, blue collar, doesn't matter what color shirt you have on. Good, honest, hard-working people continue. These are people of modest means. Continue to elect these rich cocksuckers who don't give a fuck about them. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't care about you at all. At all. At all. Man. And if you needed proof that the people who run this country, he talked all about the owners, the people who own, really run the country, the owner. They're the people who own Barack Obama. They're the people who own Hillary Clinton. They're donors, right? The people where they get all their money from. One of these guys is Eric Schmidt, right? He runs Google, right? Uh, YouTube's owned by Google, so don't tell him about this. But um, so he's a big pal of uh, Hillary Clinton. I, I remember uh, I just, Thomas... Frank, who wrote Listen Liberal, I went and saw him in con uh, in conversation with Robert Shear last week, and he gave a mention about, you know, uh, Eric Schmidt, the head of Google. Every time Hillary Clinton's given a speech, no matter where she's always going, oh, Eric Schmidt's here from Google. Oh, no matter where she's in Indonesia, in Egypt, or Europe, no matter where she was, she's like, oh, Eric Schmidt is here. And he kept, he was joking around, like, isn't that funny that no matter where she was, he'd show up? And then WikiLeaks reveals this email Listen to the advice Eric Schmidt gave to the Hillary Clinton campaign. It says the campaign headquarters will have about a thousand people, mostly young and hardworking and enthusiastic. It's important to have a very large hiring pool, such as Chicago or New York, from which to choose enthusiastic, smart, and low paid permanent employees. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck. This is the head of Google. The, one of the richest corporations the face of the earth has ever seen, talking to one of the richest campaigns, the richest campaign. They raise a billion dollars. They're gonna, they're bragging about we raise a billion dollars just for our campaign. And he's telling them you got to get smart, enthusiastic, low-paid, permanent workers. That's how. That's how the owners think. Fuck it. Hey, half the country in America, the richest country the face of the earth has ever seen, is poor. Half the country is considered poor in America. Well, I wonder why. Is it because the owners and our and the people who are supposed to represent the poly, uh, us are in bed together to screw us? Yes. Turns out, yes. Turns out, yes. You wonder why they're cracking cops or cracking heads of peaceful protesters in North Dakota right now? Because they're doing it at the behest of guys who own big corporations. Wall Street and oil companies. And here's the guy who runs Google. He's telling her, make sure you choose enthusiastic, smart, low paid. Down, down here it says employees will relocate to participate in the campaign and will find low cost temporary housing or live with campaign supporters on a donated basis. This worked well in Chicago and can work elsewhere. So fuck them. The people who are actually working their hearts out for you, fuck them. Have them stay with their friends. Pay them shitty, but permanently pay them shitty. Screw them. Very telling. Very telling. George Carlin, 100% right. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck that their oil company is going to pollute your water. They don't care that your job got sent to a more desperate person in an even poorer country. They don't care. All they care about is their donors. All they care about is the ascendant class, the innovative innovation class, which is Google, which is Silicon Valley, which is Wall Street, the innovation class. Oh, they're innovators. They find new ways to screw over poor people so they can take more of the money for themselves. Oh, there you go. Uh, they don't give a fuck about you. And now go vote for them. Anybody else have anything to say? No. Well, I like how they're not talking about like like. There's no mention here of 
Give them a platform to believe in so they don't mind making those sacrifices for you. Because you know what? Like if there's someone who has a great platform, there are a lot of people who would take uh, a lower wage to participate in a campaign, who would put in those extra hours to get the word out. But there's no talk about that. No, it's but just... people, will, people will be willing to do that if there isn't money to go around, right? And especially mm -hmm. if they're, they're – you're talking about volunteers. These are permanent employees right. he's talking about. Those are two different things. Bernie had a lot of uh, 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 volunteers. They're talking about literally staffing her campaign mm -hmm. with really smart enthusiastic low-paid employees permanently permanent so he's not talking about volunteers or getting people excited talking about screwing over the people who are going to help you get elected permanently <laughs> yes i mean yes we should all be disturbed by the phrase low-paid permanent employees because if that is the vision of what she wants how is she going to ever that's how fight? they that's how they all think that's how they all think. If you're not making good, if you're no, if you don't make a wage like they're making, it's your fault because you should have paid more attention in school. That's what they say. Even though it's got nothing to do with that, it's got to do with the fact that workers' pay has not has been decoupled from productivity. Used to be you produce more, you got paid more. Now you produce more, you get paid nothing. Produce even more, you get paid nothing. And right now they're making most of their a lot of their stuff in prisons. Literally using prison labor in America. Next thing you're going to tell me, Jimmy, is that the Clintons destroyed unions. B Clintons destroyed the unions, passed NAFTA, exploded the prison population, and now we're using slave labor. Talk about your permanent low-paid workers. I like the other sentence. D.C. is a poor choice as it's full of distractions and interruptions. We don't want one of these kids to run into Dennis Kucinich or Bernie Sanders or somebody like They might realize there's better options. Keep them away from those distractions.